Today we're working on an iPhone 11 Pro Max with water damage that has no power. When we connect the phone to the power supply, you'll see that the amps go up immediately, which tells us that the phone has a short circuit on our primary line. I'm going to disassemble the phone. I remove the motherboard and place it on the preheater. Being a sandwich board, it comes with two sections. Section A is the upper section and section B is the lower section. We use the preheater at 250 degrees Celsius to help heat and separate the two. By inserting the screw, it will help me separate the upper section from the lower one. Once the motherboard is hot enough and the solder has melted, I'll take my tweezers and grasp the screw I installed and the upper section comes right off. Here I have the lower section of the motherboard, section B. I saw some of the water damage, so I'm brushing it off with alcohol. It's not much, so it only requires a quick brush off. Now I have the upper section of the board, section A. As you can see, on this upper right corner, there is noticeable corrosion. The corrosion is all over the circuits and integrated circuits. From what I see here, the corrosion is contained to this upper right section. So I'm confident that the short circuit is going to be located in this section. Now I'm using the ultrasonic cleaner. I'll place both boards in it and make sure we cover all areas. I'm using a brush at the same time with the ultrasonic cleaner to remove corrosion. Give yourself enough time to really get into there and remove all surface damage. Once I remove the boards, I'm going to dry them with the air compressor. Now I'm going to check under the microscope to see the progress I made. Here's a clear picture of the progress and the corrosion is almost completely removed. There are a few corroded circuits, but definitely a big improvement. I apply flux and I am using my heat gun to reflow the integrated circuits. This process is going to help us remove any corrosion that is underneath. It will also resolder the circuit back into the motherboard. So how do we do this? Apply heat at 360 degrees Celsius and tap the circuit gently from one corner till the circuit moves to the side and then back into place. Now repeat the same process to the next one and you will see that it also moves. If there is any corrosion under the circuits, this process will help. Looking at the CXW, I'm zooming into the area that was corroded. As you can see, one of the primary lines, VDD main, was located in this exact area. By the looks of it, the corrosion must have connected it to ground. And once we remove the corrosion, it should reverse the issue. If not, we need to look into replacing components. How do we know if the functionality has been restored? I will get my multimeter and put it in diode mode. I will use it on a motherboard of an iPhone 11 Pro Max, which is similar to the iPhone 11 Pro to compare some readings. So as you can see, on this side of the capacitor, I get 0.344 reading. This one here, which is the one with the water damage, and it's reading at 0.347, which is very close to the first reading. It's basically the same. Now we go to the next capacitor, on which reads at 0.346. Now I'm checking the same one on the water damage motherboard, motherboard and it's reading 0.347. So again, it's basically the same reading. The next one is a resistor and the reading on this side is 0.342. On the other side is 0.389. The water damage one, the right side reading is 0.348 and 0.394 for the left. The next capacitor reads 0.395 and ground. Here we see 0.390. After comparing other components affected by the water damage, we see that all the readings are basically the same. 
So now I'm going to remove the corrosion from these small circuits, the capacitors and the resistors. I add flux and then apply heat at 200 degrees Celsius to heat up the board. Then I use my soldering iron to apply solder to each side of the affected circuits. There goes one, put some on the next one. Now I apply more flux on the resistor, which will make this easier and as you can see, the corrosion is almost gone. I reapply solder on each side of the circuit. I swap the area with a Q-tip to remove the excess flux and as you can see, the corrosion is completely gone. We took this board with visible corrosion and removed it and verified the circuit functionality by using diode mode on our multimeter. Now we're going to resolder section A to section B of the motherboard using the preheater. We apply flux to the edge of board B, situate board A on top, and use this bracket to apply pressure between the two boards. Set the temperature to 200 degrees Celsius and wait 8 minutes. After the 8 minutes, we are going to wait for the motherboard to cool down. Remove it from the preheater and then rebuild the phone. We connect the charging port and reconnect the screen. Lastly, connect the battery. Power it back on so we can bench test it. This is the board we use for reference in diode mode. And it turned on. The touch is working. We don't have the password for this phone, but at least we can get the data if that's what the customer wishes. To recap, this repair was completed by using diode mode on the multimeter to verify the functionality of the circuits and a reference motherboard. To learn how to do this and other motherboard repairs with micro soldering techniques, please visit us at Cell Phone Repair Academy. We will take you to the next level.